What's up everyone, Cheetah here, and today I'm bringing you an achievement slash platinum trophy walkthrough for In Rays of the Light. This game is published by Sometimes You, and it's developed by Sergei Noskov, and you can pick the game up on March 17th for a price of $7.99. And there is currently a pre-order sale for 20% off. So to get all the achievements in the game, we're going to have to get two different endings, but I found a super easy chapter select method to make getting the second ending way faster and easier. So starting off, we're going to finish the entire game without using the flashlight, and then we're going to chapter select and get a second ending. So just a heads up, this game is going to be very dark at one point and kind of spooky. So from the main menu, I recommend turning your brightness all the way up. And if you're a scaredy cat, you can turn down the uh, game volume or turn it off so that way it's not spooky. And you can't die in this game at all. There's no jump scares or monsters. There's just going to be a, uh, a really dark part with some spooky noises. And if you're a chicken, I just recommend turning down the volume. So uh, starting off here, we're going to turn to the right and open up this door here. And whatever you do, do not pick up that flashlight on the wall right there. Because uh, we're going to get a secret ending here. So head over here into this little restroom and pick up this pipe inside of this uh, sink right here. And we're going to use this pipe to uh, open up the door across the uh, hallway right here. So spam A and uh, rip this plank off this door. And open up the door here and continue down the uh, hall. And we're going to go through the, uh, the doorway here at the end of the hall. Open up the right side door using the uh, A button. And then from there we're going to continue into this little room here with the open door. And it has a 7 on the door. So head in here. Interact with this uh, wardrobe right here by pressing the A button. And you should get an achievement for uh, knocking that uh, wardrobe off. And then from there, we can head out the doorway, turn to the right. And then again, we're going to open up this door here with our little pipe. So spam the A button, open up the door, head in here, turn to the left. And on the uh, back left corner, there's going to be a little padlock we can interact with. And we're going to enter the code 047. So again, 047. Open up the little cupboard here, pick up the uh, film reel. And then head out the door that we came in. And as soon as you walk out the door, we're going to head straight all the way down the hallway to the uh, staircase over here. So head down these stairs here. And at the bottom, we're going to turn to the right. And you should see a door that says security on it right here. Open up this door. <clears throat> and there's going to be a note on the table we can pick up. So you want to make sure you pick up this note since there's an achievement for collecting all of the notes. And you should also get an achievement for... Uh, I guess seeing that bird there, turn to your right, pick up these uh, keys in the cupboard right there. And then we're going to head out the door and turn to the left. And then we're going to take a right. And we're going to walk all the way down this uh, hallway here. And on the left side, there's going to be a little uh, map to pick up. So go ahead and pick this up. And then from there, we're going to head into the uh, back room here. And we're going to interact with this uh, soda machine. So go ahead and kick this uh, soda machine here. And that should get you an achievement. And you should have also gotten an achievement for picking up the map. And once we get that, we're going to turn to the right and we're going to pick up one of these uh, piles of coins right here next to the payphones. And then from there, we're going to head out the door and head straight. And we're going to turn to the left into this first room right here. Head in here and there's going to be another note here. Pick up this note. Whatever you do, do not turn on that lantern. So pick up the note only. Turn to your right. Open up the locker and uh, pick up this little key right here. And then from there, we're going to head out the room and we're going to turn to the left. And we're going to head out here outside. So we're going to head outside here and we're going to take a left towards this bus. And I completely forgot to tell you guys, you can sprint using the left trigger. So I'm super sorry about that. You want to head out here and be as quick as you can. We need to open up this bus here using the A button. And in here, we're going to turn to the right and we're going to pick up this uh, note by the uh, dash up here. So pick up this note here, make sure you interact with it and then turn around and on the uh, little seat, Right here, there's going to be a gas can. Go ahead and pick that up and hurry back to the uh, building since there's an achievement basically to get the uh, secret ending. We can't spend that much time out in the sun, so you want to try to hurry up and get in the shade as fast as you can. And uh, we're going to go over here to the uh, wardrobe that we knocked down and we're going to pick up a key right here. So go ahead and pick that up. And then from there, we're going to walk forward around the uh, corner of this building here. And we're going to take a left and we're going to head back inside of the uh, building. So again, we need to uh, avoid being in the light as much as we can for that secret ending. So head in here and we're going to head in, into the uh, building here and we're going to take a right outside of the uh, door here and you should see the uh, basement right here and we're going to head down here and uh, it's kind of spooky down here, but it's okay. So head down here. We have the key to unlock this door now. So open up the door 
and head down the uh, staircase here and on the left you're going to see this lantern on the uh, table and there's going to be a note right here that we can interact with so pick up this note right here and then uh we can turn around to the uh right and uh we can go pick up this uh lighter right here and don't worry there's no like monsters or anything that are going to get us there's just spooky noises that's all that is so pick up that lighter right there and head back up the stairs the way we came and uh we're going to turn to the uh, left here at the top of the stairs and we're going to head towards this uh, building here in the distance and all the way on the left side of this building here there's going to be a uh, door that we can go ahead and open up and uh, whatever you do don't equip your lighter just yet since uh, I'm not really sure if using the lighter affects the achievement for not being in the light so we're not going to use the uh, lighter just yet so head up the uh, stairs here and then uh, we're actually going to equip the lighter in just a second so once we get to the store hold RB and equip the uh, lighter by scrolling over to it using the d-pad and we want to rub the uh, lighter on this little uh, rope slash twine right there to burn it so rub your lighter on that twine open up the door turn to your right and there's going to be a note on this table that we can go ahead and pick up right here so pick that note up make sure you get it and then from there we're going to head up the uh, stairs here and we're going to do a little locker puzzle so go up to these uh, lockers we're going to open up locker number one locker number four and then locker number six there's actually not a number but just uh, count it's number six and then from there we're going to open up number two and there's going to be a fuse inside right here go ahead and pick that up and now we can head out of here and we're going to go back to the uh, basement of the school so turn around head back the way we came and then uh, take a left out the door here and start heading back towards the uh, school or whatever this building is and uh, again there's going to be some spooky noises or something so just uh, head back to the the uh, basement here and then go down the stairs and uh, we're gonna have to turn on the uh, generator down here so head down here turn to the right and we're gonna interact with this uh, little fuse box right here next to the generator so open this up place the uh, fuse inside using the A button and then from there we need to put the gasoline on the uh, left side in this little uh, container here so pour the gas in there and then pull the uh, lever and that's going to play a cutscene and this is where the uh, game gets very dark and very spooky so if you can guys I recommend turning your brightness all the way up on your TV or your monitor and uh, in the game as well so I tried skipping the uh, cutscene right there but you can so we have to watch this little cutscene and the lights are going to go out and whatnot and again guys there's no jump scares there's no monsters you can't die there's nothing like actually spooky except for the darkness and the noises so we're gonna be okay so head down this uh, hallway here and again it's very very dark so just basically go straight and uh, we're gonna turn to the left here and open up this uh, little gate right here and we're gonna head forward and we're gonna head to the other side of this room here into the uh, bathroom with the uh, blinking light and in here there's gonna be a little note that we can pick up so pick up this note here and then we're gonna turn around out the door and we're gonna take a right so head out the door take a right and you should see this uh, hallway right here and uh, basically we're gonna run through this hallway a total of four times so just head down the hallway you don't have to copy what I'm doing on screen there's no monsters or nothing and it's basically just one path with a bunch of turns so just keep walking down this path here there's gonna be a bunch of turns and basically we're gonna have to repeat that process four times over so just keep walking straight or not straight but just turning through the, the hallway and whatnot and eventually you're going to come out to the end right here we're going to turn to the left at the end and then again we're going to take another left and we're going to repeat that same process of walking through the hallway and we have to do that four times so this is going to be the second time again don't copy what i'm doing on screen just watch your own screen and run through this hallway here and again there's nothing spooky so just uh, head through here and we're going to do this a third time afterwards so eventually once we get to the end we're going to turn to the left and then we're going to take another left into the same uh, hallway that we were just in. So now we're doing the uh, third run here. And I'm just going to keep talking because you guys are probably scared. No, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, just uh, keep running through here. And eventually we're going to have to do it a fourth time. And a new pathway is going to appear. So just keep running. And eventually we're back in the room. We're going to take a left and then another left. And now we're on the uh, final run, so this is going to be the uh, final run that we have to do the fourth time. And uh, now there's going to be a new path that we can head through, and you should see a light eventually. So 
you're going to see like a little pallet on the ground and you want to take a right once we get there. So you see the little pallet right here. We're going to turn to the right and you should see some lights. And now we're going to head down here and it's going to get even more spooky because there's going to be some spooky noises. So head all the way down here and uh, whatever you do, do not light this uh, little candle on the table over here to the right. But we do need to pick up the note. So head over here, only pick up this note right here. And then from there, we can turn to the left and head into the uh, extra spooky part right here. So open up this door. There's going to be a cutscene. Head through here. And we're going to get turned around. And there's going to be a cutscene. So just let this play here. And it's going to get super spooky and super dark. And uh, super hard to follow along with. So, so we're going to turn to the right. And uh, you want to hug the right side wall here and walk forward. And then we're going to turn to the right down this little hallway here. And uh, this is me turning my volume down since it was getting spooky. So basically hug the right side wall here, walk forward, and then uh, turn to the left, walk with the wall, and then turn to the right, turn to the left, and then at the uh, pallets here, we're going to turn to the right. And we're going to head back here, hug the wall, turn to the left, keep hugging the wall, and then uh, turn to your left and you should see some uh, candles. So go over here and uh, touch and like just get close to these candles because this is like a trigger to open up a door. And then again, we're going to hug the right side wall, turn to the right, hug the wall, walk forward, turn to the right. And you should see a red light and we're going to turn to the right here. And at one point, it's going to get pretty confusing. Turn to the right, hug the wall, walk forward down this wall here. And then we're going to turn to the left and you should see a candle and then keep walking. And we're gonna turn to the right and you should see another candle. And on the wall here is gonna be a note with a knife. Go ahead and pick that up. And fair warning, it's gonna get very hard to follow along with because I get confused up here. So hug the uh, right side wall. You should see a red light. We're going to uh, turn to the right down this hallway here and hug the right side wall. Turn to the right, you should see a little pallet and follow this uh, pathway here. And then eventually we're gonna take a there's a little bump right here that I got stuck on. I had to jump over it. Turn to the left. Hug this wall right here. And then we're going to turn to the right. You should see a little candle. Follow this path. Turn to the right. And then uh, follow towards the uh, red light. And it's going to get confusing in a second up here. I think we want to walk towards that candle to the left right here. And then I'm not sure which way we turn. So hang on. I think I turned to the the left so turn to the left at the candle walk down here and again it's going to get confusing again in just a second so i believe i turned to the right but then i'm looking back and i'm getting confused i honestly don't know which direction i turned guys i'm sorry i think i turned to the right and you should see a red light and there's going to be a note over here that we can pick up and uh right over here on the ground go ahead and pick up this note right here and then from there, we're going to turn around and head back the way we came. And on the right side, you should see a door next to this uh, light. And there's going to be a padlock, and we have to enter a little code. The code should be 638. So left or right, uh, 638. And that's going to open up the door, and we're done with this part. We're done with the spookiness. So head up here. It's basically a straight path with, like, two right turns. So uh, apologies if that sewer part was a little f hard to follow along with, guys. Again, it's like pitch black. It was super hard to explain, but hopefully I explained it well enough that it was easy for you guys to follow along with. So head up this path. You basically take two rights. And now we're done with the spooky part. No more darkness. Pick up this phone here, and you should get an achievement. And then from there, head through the doorway here and turn to the left. And we're going to uh, turn to the right into this room. And on the table, there's going to be a note. Interact with the note, make sure you pick it up, and then from there, we can uh, head back into the room we just came into, or it came from, and we're going to open up this door right here with the uh, pipe, so switch to the pipe, open up this door, break it using the uh, A button, spam it, and then uh, out here, we're going to get another achievement over to the uh, right over here by this bench. There's going to be a uh, can that we can inter interact with, and that's going to get you an achievement. So head over here, right next to this trash can, interact with that can, or pick it up, I guess, and you should get an achievement. And now we're going to head back up towards the school. And also there's like some uh, nukes going off, which looks pretty cool. But uh, try not to stay outside for too long since we got to uh, kind of speed run here. So head into the uh, school. And uh, once we get inside, we're going to uh, turn to the left. 
and we're gonna head forward towards those two double doors there and uh, if you want to you can go ahead and equip your uh, little lighter here and we're gonna head towards these uh, two doors open up the uh, left side take a right and we're gonna head down to the uh, claw machine here so head all the way down here and interact with the claw machine all right so we're gonna interact with this uh, little claw machine and we need to get this little box out of the machine so bring the claw all the way to the right right about there where the uh, it meets the metal and then bring the little pole to this black line right there and then you can press a and uh, that'll bring it down and you should get the uh, little box and if you missed it that's completely okay you get infinite attempts so just uh, get the box out of there and then hold a to quit and pick up the box and now we're gonna head upstairs so head back the way we uh, came here and we're gonna head out the uh, two double doors and we're gonna turn to the right up the stairs so turn to the right head up the staircase here and then at the top of the stairs we're gonna take a left so take a left head into this uh, room with the X it should say lecture head in here turn to the right and we're gonna head towards the uh, wall in front of us and we're gonna turn to the left and on the uh, little uh, lecture post whatever where you would speak right over here there's gonna be a note so go ahead and pick this up right here and then from there we need to turn the uh, power on so we're gonna head to the uh, back right like right next to the uh, stairs here back in here we're gonna turn to the left into this uh, doorway here and we're gonna turn the power on and basically what I recommend doing is uh, I'll tell you when to pause the video and you can copy my uh, solution so on the left side here you basically want it to be blue on the left side and I'm not gonna bother explaining this because it's gonna be super hard to uh, just follow along with so again in a second once I finish it I'll just tell you to uh, pause the video and you can copy the solution so now you can go ahead and uh, pause basically you rotate those things using the uh, a button so feel free to pause and copy that solution and then from there we're gonna head outside here and we're gonna walk up these uh, stairs to our right and we're gonna play a little uh, movie so head up the uh, staircase here and uh, we're gonna interact with the uh, little projector and there's also a uh, secret film that we're gonna play after the uh, end of the game here so we're getting pretty close to the uh, end of the uh, first playthrough so I'm gonna uh, stop the commentary until this movie's over since we can't actually leave this room until the movie is over so I'll be right back Alright, so once the movie's over, you can kind of head towards the uh, door that we originally came in, and it might still be locked, but uh, once the uh, cutscene's over, you can open up the door and head into the uh, darkness here, and it's going to teleport us, and we're going to be in this weird section with the uh, glowing TVs or whatever, and we're going to walk down this uh, hallway here, and we're going to turn to the right, and then we're going to take another right up here, so take the uh, first right right here, 
and then we're gonna follow this uh, pathway here so follow this uh, path and this is actually basically the end of the uh, first playthrough but we have to get a uh, little secret after we finish this uh, playthrough here so head through here and uh, we're gonna turn to the right and get the last note in here so turn to the right head into this uh, spooky hallway and there's gonna be a note at the end and this should be your last uh, note so uh, go ahead and pick up this note and again, you should get the achievement for all notes. And then from there, we can head back the uh, way we came. And we're gonna uh, take a right at the end of this hallway. And we're gonna walk into the light. So take a right, walk into the uh, light here. And this is basically gonna be the end of the game in just a second. But like I said, after the credits roll, it's gonna uh, bring us back into the game. And we have to get a little secret film for a missable achievement. And then we're gonna load up or we're gonna chapter select and we're gonna get the other ending so head into the uh, white here it's gonna teleport us and basically we need to walk over there into the uh, light and if you did everything right you didn't use the uh, flashlight and you didn't spend too much too much time in the Sun you should get the uh, the harder ending so if you did it wrong you're going to uh, float up into the sky so hopefully you did it right if not, you might have to uh, replay the entire game or delete your save data and start over, which would suck. So uh, head into the light here, and uh, it's going to uh, play a little cutscene if you did everything right. So hopefully you got the uh, good secret ending, and the uh, cutscene will play. And uh, you should unlock the achievement after the credits, so I'm going to pick the uh, commentary back up once this cutscene and the credits are over. All right, so after the uh, credits are over, if you got the uh, super secret ending, we're gonna spawn back up here at the uh, start of the game, and we're gonna head out the uh, door here, and we're gonna turn to the right, and we're basically gonna retrace our steps from the very beginning of the game. So turn to the left through this uh, door here, and we're gonna head down towards the uh, double doors. So head through here, take a left through the double doors, and then take a right down the uh, stairs. So head down the stairs here, take a left at the uh, bottom of the stairs, and head into the double doors right here. And we're going to go back to the uh, claw machine here. So head all the way down here, and there's going to be another item in the claw machine that we can get. And this is basically like a secret film. So interact with the uh, claw machine here, and go ahead and get this one out. So I don't really have a strategy to uh, make this one easier, so just uh, try getting that one out on your own. And uh, once you get it, you can hold A to uh, quit. So go ahead and get that and then hold A to quit and pick it up. And then from there, we're going to head back to the uh, lecture room upstairs. So pick it up, head back through the uh, double doors that we came through. And we're going to take a right and head up the uh, staircase. So take a right, head up the uh, stairs here. And then at the top of the stairs, we're going to take a left and head into the room. 
the uh, lecture room here. So turn to the left, head in here, and we're gonna head back upstairs, and we're gonna we're going to uh, watch another film. So head up here, interact with the projector, and you should get the achievement for watching the uh, secret film. And if you want, you guys can uh, feel free to uh, watch this uh, film here. It's basically like the uh, real life building that this uh, building was modeled after. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to pause and I'm going to go to load game. Again, you can feel free to watch the video, but I'm going to pause, go to load game and load up chapter seven. And it should be a picture of the uh, theater. And then from there, we're going to load up here and you can feel free to uh, equip your lighter. And then from there, we're going to head back to the uh, start of the game. So head out the door, turn to the right into the uh, double doors here and head down the hallway. And we're going to pick up the flashlight on the wall. So head in here. Turn to the right, you should see the uh, flashlight on the wall right here. Go ahead and pick that up, and you should, uh, it's going to play like a little cutscene here. So from here, you can go ahead and uh, press Y to turn the flashlight on, and then at the same time, you want to equip your uh, lighter. And we're going to head forward through the uh, two double doors here, and we're going to turn to the left down the uh, staircase, and we're going to head outside. So at the bottom of the stairs, we're going to turn around, and head outside and basically we need to spend at least two to three minutes minimum outside in the uh, sun to trigger the other ending so we're gonna head out here and uh, basically what you want to do is set a timer on your phone or whatever for at least three minutes and if you spend three minutes out here when you finish the game you're gonna get the other ending and also something really cool out here is there's a uh, joker easter egg on the wall right here but I'm going to go ahead and edit out the uh, three minutes since uh, I didn't want to wait here forever and the video to be super long. So wait your three minutes and then once your three minutes is up, again guys, you're going to have to wait out in the sun for at least three minutes. And once your three minutes is up, we're going to head back upstairs into the uh, lecture room here. So again, feel free to pause the video and then unpause it once your three minutes is up. And we're going to head back into the uh, theater here and we're going to get the other ending. So head in here and we're gonna have to turn the power back on which is kind of annoying but just uh, take a left here and we're gonna head back towards the uh, little power room and we're going to turn the uh, power on back here so head back in here and again feel free to uh, pause the video once I'm done with the uh, little solution here so go ahead and pause and copy that solution right there and then from there, we can go ahead and uh, put the uh, film in the projector up here. So head up the stairs here, put the film in the uh, projector, and it's going to play the uh, movie. And I actually went ahead and edited the uh, movie out since it's super long and super boring. So once the film's over, the uh, door should unlock that we originally came through, and you can head out into the uh, darkness here, and it's going to teleport you. And basically, we're almost done with the game. We just got to get that second ending. And uh, you might be missing the achievement for walking a certain amount of distance, but you probably already got it. So we're going to take a right here through this uh, hallway, and we're basically going to uh, follow this path here. So just keep on uh, walking here, and uh, I'm not really sure what to say, but uh, if you guys made it this far in the video, leave me a comment with your uh, gamer tag, and I will add all of you on Xbox. And I really appreciate all of your comments, guys. I reply to literally every single one of them, so... Feel free to uh, leave me a comment if you want to, and I'll be sure to uh, reply to you. So walk into this light here, and uh, that's going to teleport us to the uh, next area. So basically, to get the uh, second ending, we just needed to spend some time in the uh, sun. So if you spent at least three minutes out there with your flashlight and your lighter and uh, in the sun and whatnot for at least three minutes, you should get the other ending. And basically, for the other ending, we're going to walk into this light here at the uh, end of this path, and we're going to float up into the sky like all of the uh, other people around us so that's basically it guys leave a like on the video if it was helpful and please consider subscribing if you haven't already because i'm going to be bringing you more guides just like this so that's it guys hopefully you float up into the sky and get your last achievement once the uh, credits are done rolling and whatnot so that's it guys thanks for watching and i'll see you next time